Hi and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to crop any image into a circle, making multiple images exactly the same size and aligning them all in your document. So for this demonstration I'm just going to turn this page around. So I'm going to go to Layout, Orientation, Landscape and then I'm going to insert all of my images. So go to Insert, Pictures, click on the drop down and select Pictures from File. So here I have all of my files, so I'm going to select the top one, hold down my shift key and select the bottom one and click insert. Now if I zoom out, you'll see what's happened. All the images have been inserted, but they're all on different pages and they're all different sizes. So the first thing we need to do is adjust all of these images and customize them so we can move and resize them. So we go to this image first. So the first thing you need to do is select your image, right click, Go down to wrap text and select in front of text and you can see the images are going to begin to move around. So first of all, I'm just going to resize it so we can see all of our images on each page. Come to this image, do the same, right click, wrap text in front of text. And again, we'll move that one over and resize it. We'll just get rid of this one because it's a double one. For the cake here, again, do the same, wrap text in front of text. OK, so now we've got all of our images, you need to decide on how big or small you want these images to be. And if you want them in circles, you need to crop them so they are one to one, which means they're a perfect square. So let's take this one, for example, select it, go to picture format and go to crop. Click on the drop down, select aspect ratio and select one to one. Then you can use these markers in the corner here. Click, make sure you hold down your shift key and it will stay a perfect square. If not, then it will move into a rectangle. So then you just crop out what you want from your image, press OK, keep the image selected and go up to height. And here you can select the exact size of your image. So I'm going to select eight and press enter. Make sure this little box is checked. So you maintain the aspect ratio and it will be a perfect square. Then go to crop, select crop to shape and select a circle. And there you have your circle. Now, if you don't crop to a square first, this circle will become an oval. So I'll show you one more time and then I'll speed up the video and then come back and show you how to align everything perfectly. So select your photo, go to crop, aspect ratio one to one. You can also move your image left and right. Press enter when you're happy, go to crop, crop to shape, then go up to height, select eight, press enter, go to crop, crop to shape and select the circle. Okay, so now we've got everything cropped, you need to decide where you want your images to go, the top row or the bottom row. You may want them lined up one on top of the other or smaller. What you can do is you can select all of them by holding down the command or control key. And then once they're all selected, you can actually resize them all together. You don't have to go across and resize them one by one. So it's a really good tool to use. Deselect them all. What you have to decide here is to place this one here and this one here in alignment. So select this one, hold down the command or control key and select this one. Go to align. You can either choose any of these top ones, left, center or right. It will have the same result. Then again, you can do it to these two here and select a center. And then whilst they're both selected, you want to decide how far apart you want all these circles to be. Obviously you want a little bit of space between them but you can have them so they're this far apart from this one to this one or closer together. So if I put them about here, then we can go along here, holding down that command or control key, go to align, go down and select distribute horizontally. That will generally move them so the space in between them is exactly the same. Then align, align to middle, and then you can group them together. Here you can do the same. Go to align, distribute horizontally, align, align to middle, and then group and select group. 
Now just to check them all, you can put them on top of each other to check they're perfectly aligned. Select the bottom row and the top row, align, align to center. Once they're perfectly centered, you can group those two groups together and then align, and this will align it to the page. So align to the center of the page and again to the middle of the page and deselect. There you have all your images in perfect circles, perfectly lined up on your page. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.